for whatever reason, my computer is no longer registering that it's plugged in with wired internet. Um, so that tends to lead to more buffering. So we'll see what happens. This is my last stream in this apartment before I move, so it's not really worth hardcore troubleshooting. So we're just gonna see what we can do. Um, and uh, get through it as best we can. Uh, so if things get weird, like, like, as far as like connectivity goes, we'll try to write it out a little bit. Um, and hope it's not too bad. But just keep me posted, because I don't know how it is. Um, so otherwise, I see that the patch notes had the little like, ghosty voice face. So I assume that they want me to know that it. look, it goes away when you walk at it. Just like in the game. Just like in the game. Just like in the game. I wonder why that is. I want to see what the patch notes say, but they fixed some bugs. Okay, well, I probably wouldn't know any of those, so I'm just going to go ahead and dive right into the game. So the House of Hades. Notice total darkness, 1,767, which means, which means, which means, which means... There's a loud noise. I think it's coming from the real life. I don't know. Anyway, how is the audio balance? Did you need me to turn it up? I bet you, I bet you need me to turn it up a little bit. I'm turning it up a little bit for my own sake. How's that? Is that better? Can you hear it? <laughs> I'm cool. All right, well, if it's still a bit quiet, we're going to turn it up a little bit. It's good for me. I can hear it a bit better. No, so the mic is actually quieter than it usually is. So if the mic seems too loud, that means that the game is not loud enough. So, last time, we... I believe we got trounced... My, did we fight Meg's third sister and get trounced by her last time, or was it the time before? We did take out murder again. <laughs> and I used the shield, which is like the thing to use against the Hydra. I'm, I feel like it's a little early to say for sure, but I'm thinking the shield might be my best weapon for me. Solver Raven, thank you for following. I'm sorry, I'm butchering your name. Okay, Electo beat us at the time before, and um, um, no, we no, but but no, but boy, uh, but, but, but the no, no, that was last week, wasn't it? Because we also met Thanatos last week, and everyone got really confused. <laughs> I got confused. Um, anyway. I'm reserving judgment. Oh, the time before. Okay, I thought you meant the week before the like last thing. And I'm like, no, no, that was last week. And so last week was really eventful. We met the third Meg's sister, <laughs> the third Fury. It didn't go well. Um, we talked to Thanatos, and that was complicated. Uh, yes, we finally get to know a little bit about. He keeps getting Employee of the Month. Um, I'm still trying to figure out his personality. He kind of reminds me of like, a little bit he reminds me of Sephiroth from Crisis Core. But we'll see if that sticks. This new controller of mine is really loud. Yes, that is I think correct, Galvin. Yes, Thanatos is the goth birth boyfriend, I suppose. Or, or stepbrother or something. I don't know. Apparently people have confusion about that. I felt as though Thanatos was talking like he was Zagreus's boyfriend the same way Meg talks like she's Zagreus's girlfriend, which is totally fine. Um, to like go ahead and have your drama children. They're not actually children, but I, I feel like I can be an old lady and call them children. No, I didn't mean to go through there, but I did. Pizza Nyan. Oh, that's a cute name. Thank you for following. Hello and welcome. 
Um, so in addition to, yeah, I know blank spot. That's the thing. Like, plus they're not like actually siblings. So I, I, eh, I don't know. Aren't Zeus and Hera? I might be wrong, but I don't think so. So there's precedent is all I'm saying. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Oh, wait, wait, no. Okay, so we learned your name is not Yamama Nama. It's Yama Manama. I'll get it, right? Yeah, yeah. See, so I don't think that that's necessarily a deterrent with the Greek gods. They're going to do what they're going to do. Um. <laughs> now, be careful. Um, since we've got a few folks who are relatively new here, before we dive in, I'll go ahead and let you know how I want to play this um, because uh, because I am playing this game for the first time. I mean, obviously today is not the first day that I've picked up Hades, but this is my first Hades playthrough. Hades through. Mm, no, that doesn't work. <laughs> um, but um, I like to try to do things unspoilered as much as possible. Um, and so I know if you haven't been watching me all this whole time, it's kind of tricky to be like, what does she know or what doesn't she know? We do have a spoiler chat on our Discord. Like, if you feel like joining our Discord, you're welcome to it. And then you can just say, like, give me, give me access to the top secret spoiler channel. And then you can pop up in there. By the way, people watching this on YouTube in the archives, you too can do this and would be welcome. We have a lot of YouTube viewers who hang out with us on Discord. Um, but you can pop in there and you can be like, Yo, has Lauren seen Blah yet? Can we talk about that? And then people will be like, yes or no, and then you know. Um, in general, I would request you err on the side of um, And the same thing sort of goes for backseating. I, if you backseat, I will do the opposite of what you say <laughs> because I'm contrary. Remember when that happened last time when people were trying to suggest that I purchase some boons? right before I fought a boss and I was like, well, fine, then I won't purchase any boons. Ha ha. And then I died, I think. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Um, but, but if you can refrain from spoiling and backseating, what you will get in return is Really dumb inside jokes, long rambles about characterization and uh, things that they're doing in the story. Lauren's half-remembered obsession with Greek mythology. Um, things like that. <laughs> it's okay, Chrono. It wasn't you weren't you weren't the only one who was talking then. <laughs> also, I think it's funny. Um, yeah, so I am not the greatest gamer in the world, but I'm not the worst, and I'm apparently not allowed to say I'm bad at games anymore because I beat Dark Souls. <laughs> so yeah, it wasn't. It was funny. It was funny. I think it was pretty funny. <laughs> but anyway, um, so last time, yeah, like I was saying, we 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 met and got destroyed by Meg's last sister, who at least speaks actual words. I find it interesting that Zagreus really seems like, instead of like being really uncomfortable with the fact that this person is just saying one word like a Pokemon, like that's why I don't say her name because she's like a Pokemon. So her name is clearly murder. <laughs> um, but uh, uh, the, the, he seems to like take it personally. He's like, I'm not a murderer. I'm like, well, this, you're awfully like, like no nobody seriously said you were except for the the woman who can't say anything but that word like do you protest too much <laughs> i don't know um and then we met we met thanatos and i'm holding off on uh saying exactly how i, how I feel about him until we get to know him a bit better but i do really like Cause I was a little iffy about him. I like how, how they kind of defy your expectations with him. Where like, you're like, oh great, I'm gonna fight another one who's Agrius' exes. And then actually you have this really interesting, like, kind of rivalry thing. I liked it. And then when he was like, you were just gonna leave without saying anything. And Zagreus is like, well, I figured you would understand. And he's like, what is wrong with you, dude? No, that's not cool. Um, 
Which is good, and and I know ghosting someone is the easier thing to do, but sometimes you need to get called out for doing it, so... Um, <laughs> Zagreus. Um, but in addition to that, we also got... I've been saving up. We're gonna reflect in the mirror. I'm growing stronger. Not just growing stronger. No, we got the coolest thing ever. We got our third Death Defiance. I'm so excited. Um... I don't care about casting though, so these are not useful for me. I, 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 the button exists. I should probably learn what to do with it eventually, but he did try to ghost death. He did, Ralki. That is, yes, that is exactly what it is. Sagrius, what were you thinking, honey? Oh man. Yeah, no, I mean, I think that's actually really cool and it, it the way that Thanatos talked to them was actually really mature and cool and reasonable and made me like him a lot, even though I was maybe not predisposed to like him that much. Also, for people who are watching me for the first time, I don't like Meg. I'm sorry. I don't know her super well, but I I have issues with her so far. I think that she's um, Zagreus's toxic, slightly abusive ex-girlfriend. We'll see if that actually holds up under, uh, under additional scrutiny. Um, but yeah. So that's kind of where we are. The one remaining thing is we got keys. I traded something for keys. No, I didn't trade something for keys. Did I trade? No. No, I got keys because I met Thanatos and I met everybody and they gave me a stack of keys. But I traded some gems for something else. I don't remember what it was. Um, but that means that we are going to get the final weapon. Unless there's a super secret, top secret, ultra secret weapon that doesn't show up. Don't tell me. <laughs> As far as we can tell, it's the final weapon. It looks like a bazooka or a motorcycle. But I had this idea as I was posting up my video from last, last week that maybe it's actually a hookshot. If it turns out that it's a hookshot and I was calling it something that wasn't a hookshot. Amazing. Because everything is a hookshot. Except maybe possibly this hookshot that's a bazooka. I don't know. Anyway, yes, let's find out if it's the hook shot, friends. For come back. Hi, Skelly. Hi, pal. Yes, quote 1000 being about hook shots. If you're new to my stream, we like hook shots here. Hello, well, friends. To make it to the big VIP area upstairs. You watch out for those weapon wielding gents out there. Did you know the eyeball soul thing that pops out when you beat them? You gotta squash those too, or else they'll grab their gear and come right back. Is this the first time Skelly's actually given me gameplay advice? Like other than like use the button to hit me. <laughs> Is this the first time he's told me how to fight something? Also, how do you know that I got there, Skelly? Like, it's one thing for like the like. Chthonic god of sleep to know what defeated me somehow. Uh, he's giving me tips before. He feels it in his bones. Yeah, no, and the, by the way, when I ask questions like that, that's usually rhetorical. I'm just, I'm curious because Skelly keeps talking about what he's paid to do versus what he's not paid to do. To me, it seems really clear that he genuinely has affection for Zagreus, which frankly, almost everybody does or should because he's such a sweet boy. Zagreus is sweet and well-mannered and polite, and he keeps trying to get everyone, even his horrible father, to love him. He's so cute, he doesn't want to give up on anyone. He's just, I really love Zagreus. Like, he could become one of my favorite main characters from any game ever. Like, he has every possible attribute that I like in characters. It's like they made him for me. It's great. And then they were like, what about Greek mythology too? And I'm like, oh, um, so he's great. I love him. Um, but yeah, so Skelly seems to legitimately like him, but there's definitely something going on with why Skelly is here. Skelly is too loudly refusing to tell me anything. He's like, hey, hey, there's nothing. There's nothing. Eh. I mean, he, he, he can wink. He's got enough face to wink even though he's just bones. I don't know how it works. So I'm curious why he's giving such specific advice here. Crush the souls of Elysium's exalted shades to stop them from regenerating over and over. I'll definitely do that next time I'm there. I've done that all along. Thank you. I'm pretty good at it. I don't think that's what usually gets me 
I think it's just the butterflies. The chariots. I don't know. That area is really hard. The dialogue is quiet. Is it quieter than the music? It shouldn't be any different than the music. Alright. We gotta go brood before anything else. We're gonna brood. Oh, I love the way the music changes. I love it when games, like, shift out part of wait where's my where's my dialogue Zagreus honey where is your dialogue are we just gonna have a quiet moment I mean I can I I, I can be quiet for a quiet moment <laughs> no, I can't. No, I can't. <sighs> anyway <laughs> no I love it when they have layers of the music so they can toggle off like here we've stripped down just to the uh i don't even know wait okay okay i got really confused there for a minute but we're basically just the percussion here i don't know like so have i like run out of things for him to say here i mean we're still gonna come here every time you know how it is all right I mean, as much as I want the fork, let's see. Are you a bazooka? Are you a hook shot? Or are you a motorcycle? Because see, it looks like the red thing it looks like a saddle that you could sit on and then just like ride it around. Um, but it's also maybe a bazooka. Let's find out. Let's Exegriff, the rail of wait, 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 wait. Oh my God. Oh my God. Are you serious? Okay. It's a bazooka. Oh my god, hold on. Oh no, I have a really hard time with these. On the other hand, though, that looks like that's... I am now been playing Final Fantasy XIV enough that I can say that that's an AoE. Which apparently also just refers to group attacks, even if it's not an area-related group attack. What is up with that? I don't approve of that. I learned that yesterday. Am I joking? Out of ammo. Oh wait, I've got a reload button. Press. So. Oh, there's, there's things, there's things. Hi, Mog. <laughs> yeah, it's different damage profiles, but the thing is, it's not intuitive. That it's an AOE if it's not an area-based attack. So I, I I was not pleased with that. I was like, that's bad nomenclature. How do you say that word? That's a word that I read, but don't say. Um, yeah, so I did, in fact, look. I have to point out. So I got distracted. I have to point out that I noticed on the screen. I, I was like, huh, I run out of ammo. There's got to be a way to check how much I have. I bet it's on my screen. There it is. There it is. Look at that. Do you see it? Does this does this button do anything on the non bazookas? Hey, not bad. Oh, I don't think I'm gonna want this so much, but we're gonna try this. Uh, our thumb, it's a click the stick. So oh, changing buttons isn't good for me. I have a hard enough time with regular buttons. <laughs> Reload only on rail. All right, I'm going to inspect this. Let's see here. All right, we're going to go back to the lucky tooth, which means we now have four lives. Achievement co unlocked arms collector. Okay. What was that? What was that? What? Oh, it's the equip thing. Okay, well, we're going to try the fork again. I don't even know what I want to do with darkness at this point. I got my, uh, I got my death defiance, and I don't know what else I'm going to do. Bam, bam. I need to remember that this is a thing. 
because I keep getting it confused with Here's the blender, also known as Zagreus does ballet. Bam! Okay. Yeah, but those upgrades are, are all... They're all cast, which is a button that doesn't exist for me yet. Okay, are we ready to do this, folks? Are we ready to see what happens? I do appreciate, actually, I really like the, like, extra, extra darkness thing because that keeps, that's an encouragement, encouragement, yes, to uh, mix up your weapons if you're the sort of person who's like, I just want to play the one I'm good at, which is completely legit. What, hell, I have to see what run I'm on. What run am I on? I, I think I'm on, like, 18, 19? I am on run 20! Thanks. Neither Zagreus nor I can remember that. All right, all right, we're gonna do this. 21. Oh. the stakes in life, the wretched shades of Tartarus are bound to me in death. However, hatefully, they answer to me, quite unlike you. Dad. You got that right. <laughs> Oh! Mm, I think I gave her one already. See that button? Do you see me remember right off the bat what button summons up my lore book? Priorities, folks. Priorities. Um. So I haven't really given any friendship juice to anyone here. Except for these boys. I remember the important buttons. Dashing and lore, and if there was like the talk button, I guess there is a talk button. I guess it's a talk button. <laughs> it's just also the use button. Um, but I'm always afraid that I'm going to accidentally give somebody friendship juice instead of. So, I would love to have a dedicated lore button, but I broke the I broke the dictionary encyclopedia thing in Star Ocean Three. I accidentally they didn't flag things perfectly, and I accidentally spoiled myself by reading every single encyclopedia entry that I had access to. It accidentally gave me access to something I shouldn't have had yet, and I was devastated. Anyway, um, so Artemis is my top priority. I do like Athena. I do like Athena, but I'm gonna try to hold off until we can give one to Ar Artemis because I keep giving friendship juice to everyone else but not Artemis which I feel like she would understand though because Artemis is cool but Athena would also understand because she is cool if somewhat less cool I see you've made it all the way to hallowed Elysium cousin a significant way toward the surface and if you could get there the one time surely you have what it takes to do it again and overcome the dangers that await therein three times or four times. How many times have I been to Elysium? It hasn't been every run since the first time I went there. Um, because I definitely died to Meg's sister. <laughs> Three times. Okay. Yeah, no. Athena, like, this is the thing is, like, I really just, I just, I'm not super thrilled about the entire dad generation. Poseidon is definitely the least of, uh, I don't know, just, they're, uh, they're all really self-important. Then you have Aphrodite and Ares, and they're self-important too. You know, Athena is cool. Athena is cool. Athena would be a cool cousin. I think she would be a cool cousin. She believes in me. All right, what are we going to take? Just, we just ignore the cast, except that it's a faded choice. I guess we'll have to take the one that's oh, special. That's the that's the the needle stitching one. Then you stitch like this, like in and out. See with the yeah. Yeah, no, I think so, Chrono. Um, because Artemis isn't thinking about Zagreus as though he's an Olympian. Everybody else, to some degree, I think, is trying to think about him. Even the ones that are trying to think about what it's like for him and who are concerned about his feelings and his his I guess his pains and his needs and things like that um which tend to be the cousin generation I, I tend to like them which I mean to be fair I tend to like those gods better um but uh but like even the rest of them they're trying to relate to him on on their level whereas the interpretation of Artemis as she is in this game and I think that that's not out of line with 
general feeling of Artemis anyway. There's always something a little bit outside of Artemis. She tends to keep more to herself. She doesn't she doesn't super relate to the other Olympians, so she goes out and does her own thing a lot. Um, and so I think she's able to recognize in Zagreus that in a way, among the Olympians, he's also another outsider. Um, and so I think that she relates to him, not necessarily because their experiences are the same, but because she, her experiences are different than everyone else's. And his experiences are different than everyone else's. And in that shared dissimilarity, <laughs> they can make a connection. Um, which I really like. I think she meets, she tries to meet him where he is. Um, but I will give absolutely, um, I will absolutely give um, Athena, uh, Dionysus, Hermes, um, full credit for, like, they all care about him. Like, they do seem like they legitimately, legitimately care about Zagreus and not what he can do for their egos. Um, which is cool. Um, but Ar Artemis is my, my favorite and has been my favorite since I was a tiny child. So, um, but yeah, I, I um, we're going to go with the divine flourish here. Appreciate the backup. Yes. And, and the vote of confidence and the vote of confidence. Okay. Oh, wow. I do so much more damage now. I took some damage, though. That won't do. Hold on. Property damage. Property damage is very important. So I will be moving next week, so I will not be streaming next week. But after that, we'll be in the new place. And I'm going to bother actually setting up the TV that I use as a second monitor. So I'll be able to actually see all of the beautiful details of this game. I'm looking forward to it. I just I haven't haven't done that so far. Um, yeah. I'll have you know, as I was playing Final Fantasy XIV with my friends last night, I was like wondering if you could set off traps. We were playing Palace of the Dead, and I was like, "Oh, can you activate traps to take out the uh, take out the bad guys with?" And they were like, "No, you can't." Um, but thinking about traps against bad guys is a new thing for me, which means that I might actually be able to consciously do that in this game. Why is this? Oh, that's because it hasn't been activated because I haven't gotten my uh darkness yet oh yay and i got health back because darkness are you guys in jail this doesn't seem like a very good time oh it is hammer time hold on i gotta smash some pottery you know how it goes oh man so apparently they found more of the epic of gilgamesh like what is up with that how cool is that Oh, get out of there! Get out of there! No! Don't get impaled by spikes or blown up! Deep. Oh, okay. I think I got that one spiked. Blur. Man, it's so dramatic. Oh, there's a whole bunch of these guys. I almost got spiked. I don't want to get spiked. No, you stop. You stop. Also, you stop. Oh, get out of there. I like how the hammer appeared before I think the explosion finished. <laughs> Amazing. Missing. Oh. Yeah, Blink Spot. Well, apparently they also... No, it's, it's it's their Bible museum, and apparently they have put a number of false texts and things in there. Hobby Lobby is, like... They're legitimately, like, an Indiana Jones villain. And they're a craft store in the U.S. Like, it's ridiculous. If you ever want to just be like, is this... Are you sure this is real life? Like, look that whole thing up. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a heck... Uh, it's a hell of a thing. Um, but yeah, so I should probably track down this little bit of Gilgamesh. Gilgamesh is great, by the way. Like, the, 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 the story of Gilgamesh is one of the, one of the oldest stories we have. And it is really, like, there's a lot to it. And it's a, it's a, it's a beautiful and tragic love story. So, yeah. All right, so I've apparently already got the charged skewer. Extending jab or flurry jab. 
Hmm. Yes. Okay, I wasn't sure if it was the oldest or one of the oldest, but yes, I think it is the oldest. That's... It's, it's very cool. It's very cool. And one of the things that's... Sorry. One of the things that I think is particularly interesting it is that um, spoilers for the Epic of Gilgamesh, though I don't know what's in the, like the recently released DLC, so I'm, this might get con contradicted by the later, later added content. <laughs> but so much of, like, because it's like he, like... Gilgamesh and Enkidu like go off and have adventures together and they're they're in love and it's wonderful. Um and then Enkidu dies and then Gilgamesh just like has this like absolute existential crisis and kind of becomes obsessed with the idea of death and disappearing and fading away. And that's a really interesting thing for that story of all stories to fixate on because I mean obviously that's a very very common human worry. Um, like, it's not surprising that somebody, you know, an, an unfathom, unfathomably long time ago wrote a story that had that concern. And that's still something that we create art exploring as, as well, you know, so many years later. Um, but what I think is really interesting about it is that it is a story about mortality and immortality. Um, and one of the ways in which immortality is gained... One of the closest things to immortality that we can achieve as humans is by having our story and our name live on. Um, and so to me, it's really cool and interesting that the Epic of Gilgamesh, which asks and explores and, and tries to come to terms with mortality and how one can live on after death, is the story that has lived on longer than any other story in the history of mankind. Like... How cool is that? I'm sorry. That's really cool. <laughs> um, you know, we may not, um, we may not know who originally, like, you know, we may not know what the oldest stories were, but the oldest story that we have is a story. So it's like, in a way, the Epic of Gilgamesh has immortality in asking questions about mortality and immortality. I'm a lit major. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. I guess I need to see what's going on with with uh, with those boys. Um, so I'll I'll see once they've translated it and made it made it publicly available to read a translation of it. Somebody let me know. Huh. Yeah. I have big feelings about stories. Big big feelings about stories. Because like. There are, at least from a secular perspective, really, like, three ways to live on past the end of your own lifespan. And one of those is, like, your progeny. Like, literally, you pass along your genes and your line is continued. One of them is by touching lives of other people. And so a piece of you goes to those people. And as they continue their lives, you live on through them. And as they change additional people's lives, um, kind of in a way like you grant, like you get grandfathered in, I don't know if that's the right word, but like, like, you know, part the part of you that was in them is part of what then goes on to someone else and so on and so on. Um, and then the other way is to have your story be told. It's like one of the great wonders of the world. Somebody destroyed it. I don't remember which one it was, but somebody destroyed it because he wanted his name to be immortal. And he knew he would never be forgotten as, as the man who took down one of the great wonders of the world. Which is like... <laughs> I mean, it's true, it worked. Um... Uh, Silver, so, so, oh man, I had a lot to say about Dark Souls. I got really into the story, so the uh, the uh, the uh, DLC um, for that was my favorite part of the game because it tied up the thread of two characters I was most interested in and had the highest amount of melodrama and tragedy. Tragedy, so great, I loved it. Um, anyway, yeah. So if you like this sort of thing, um, this is this is how I talk about stuff. Sometimes, if it's a game like Night in the Woods or Final Fantasy VII Remake, I will dump real world observations and, and things like that on you. Um, but if it's something that's a bit more um, mythical, we'll get commentary. <laughs> themes of mortality and immortality in the Epic of Gilgamesh. 
<laughs> yep. I'd heard that about the Gardens of Babylon. All right. So, meanwhile, Brian, Nautilus Tea Party over here is um, making comments about the jabs having to do with getting vaccinated. All right. Probably you don't want to get vaccinated with a flurry job. Oh, man. Uh, let's do this. Sharpened. <laughs> we just sharpened you. <gasps> More friendship juice. Oh, my God. That means that I can give friendship juice to Artemis and someone else. Oh, my God. Amazing. Okay. We're going to do this. The big pokey. <laughs> I was just watching something Earthbound related, so that's what Pokey makes me think of. Oh my god, look at- No! No, you stop it, all of you! Oh my god, I can hit them from so far away. Holy crap. Jeez. Oh my god. This is just absurd. Oh my god, it hit me. Because I was busy marveling. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that was my own fault. 100%. What are you guys doing? Look at them. They're just like all hanging out over here. Hey, how how you doing, folks? How's your evening going? The perfect gift. <laughs> All right. I'm always gonna go with the centaur's heart. Socially distant skewer. Oh my god, yes. Okay, I should probably do more than just like poke people, but I'm really delighted by the poke. You stop that! Oh my god. I can't be the only one who thinks of a little in a in Link to the Past. No, you kidding me? I don't want you to hit me. No, stop it. No, sorry, I got a little a little carried away. Stop that! Oh, oh, oh my goodness! I'm taking way more damage than I should. I'm very. I'm. I got really sloppy there. Hold on. All right. Well, fortunately that take care of business a little bit. Bum, 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 bum. That's okay. Darkness will give me life. No! Will you stop that? Okay. Oh my god. The witches? I have a really hard time with them with a lot of weapons. Because I, I'm not always confident in my ability to uh, hit their weapons. Okay, so there's a palm. Oh, we can maybe do a little teeny bit of shopping. Okay, hold on. I gotta smash some pottery, and then we're gonna shop. Mm. Oh. Obviously. Obviously. All right. Cool. What are you, a manticore? It looks like a manticore. I think that's a manticore. There's just these giant creepy hands. They're like, hey, 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 how do you feel about wall masters? And I'm like, no. That's how I feel about wall masters. No. Uh oh, hey, so Skyward Sword exists. I can see how quickly I can slay you all. Oh, is that a challenge, Zagreus? These guys look bigger than these usually are. Oh, good. Are we going to do it? Should we do it, folks? Okay, there's more. Hold on. Oh, my God. Ah! Oh, right. I do have an AoE. Okay. Are we going to do it? Delicious. He says that in a way that I imagine makes people go a little bit crazy. <laughs> oh, this game. Um, I was going to say something and I don't remember what it was, so it must not be that important. All right. Sure. Might as well. <laughs> I was actually literally about to say might as well. Stop doing that. You know where you are. It was just to say you don't know where you are. I love the, like, weird out, outsideness, the, like, outside of, of, of time and space and reality of this. Although it does look like, actually, there's 
I thought that was just space, but it, it doesn't look like it's space. It looks like it's a looks like it's a liquid. Like it looks like the the there's there's ripples, which makes it look to me like there's like an, an ocean that perhaps is the sky around us. That's very cool. Chaos is cool and utterly terrifying. Oh, Skyward Sword, I was talking about games I'm gonna stream. That's what it is. Well, we're gonna talk to Chaos. Zagreus is such a good and polite boy, but he does not know what to do with Chaos, to be fair. Yeah, we are descended from them, but that just... Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Oh, man. Because there's something going on with the fates. There's a reason why Nyx isn't supposed to be meddling. And she gave us the fates book. And there's been a lot of... There's a thing going on with fate and Zagreus and fate. That I don't know what it is. And I do actually trust Nyx, but I don't know what's going on. But the idea of chaos, just messing with it a little bit. Just, we can if you want to do that. I don't know. Oh, ho, 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 flayed ambush does not sound good. Yes, a softly spoken gentle being is such a good, such a good phrase. And gentle being is, is it, it will enter the lexicon and, and find a place there. Because I've heard gentle them, but I think gentle being sounds cooler. <laughs> um, hmm. No. It, no, the character designs are amazing. And there's something so deeply unsettling and yet almost beautiful about chaos, which is perfect. I want to go with this. Because I think I... I don't even... I don't know what I'm saving up for, though. Oh, I guess with this, yeah, I could just not use the top button. I'm so dependent on dashing, but I have, I can double dash. Like if I were, if I were shopping more right now, this would definitely, this is slothful eclipse. This is a, this is definitely the, the shopping one, but I don't know that there's anything Yeah, I don't know that I need to shop, but I'm going to go with shopping. Be careful, son of Hades. That is a good warning. That is so interesting. They're really, really good. They know what's cool. And they do what's cool. And it sounds cool and it feels cool. And the writing is cool. And the delivery of the lines is cool. Also, you know, I do love you, Athena. But there's no question where I'm going. Well, that was fun while it lasted. Okay. There you are. Eek! Oh my god, there's so many of them. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Okay. Lady Artemis. Let's do it. Okay, make sure I hit the right button. 
Lady Artemis, I hope that you'll accept this offering for all your kindness and support. Kindness and support, is it exactly? Is it exactly? I'm very, I'm very pleased with their take on Artemis in this game. It makes me very happy. Hey, thank you for this, really. And I've just the thing to offer in return. It's just a gift, okay? <laughs> she's so cute. Oh my god, she's so wholesome. I just love her. I just love Artemis so much. And an absolutely platonic love sort of way. She is my favorite. <sighs> like, you can hear like she's like she's she's like how do I how do I express that I appreciate this in the right the right manner? And make him know that I really do appreciate it. And I really do care. And I want to give him something. But I don't want to get his hopes up to think that it's too great. I don't know. Uh, is good. Is good. Yes. Good. Yes. Thing. Hopes. Yes. Anyway. <laughs> I love you, Artemis. Lady Artemis, you honor me. I don't think it had to do with reading into it. I think she just didn't want him to expect that she was going to change the world for him she's like oh i just it's just a present that's all uh because you gave me a present i'm sorry there's just don't she's like oh, i'm gonna give you something oh but don't like it's just a thing sorry you know you know have you ever have you ever done that when you're really excited about giving somebody something and you get excited talking to them about how you're gonna give them that thing and then you're like oh did i did i talk that up too much oh no now they're gonna think it's great and then they're gonna be disappointed because it's not as good as they thought it was gonna be um um lower your expectations it's fine it's fine it's fine everything's fine or maybe that's just me. <laughs> Something's troubled me a little about you. You fight so desperately. At first, I thought you simply lacked in patience, but now I see it's urgency that drives you. What is it that you're after, really? <sighs> Trust Artemis, the one who's trying to think about him as him. Instead of instead of reading and assuming <clears throat> asking herself there's got to be something driving she's the only, i think she's the only one so far who's expressed any speculation that what's going on with zagreus is there maybe there's something else going on there you know what is it that you're after really you're very urgent I also think it's really cute that she was like, oh, he's a little impatient. But she's been nothing but supportive to him up till this point. Um, also, bye, Ampy, if I haven't missed you yet. Thank you for dropping by and have a good evening. Um, <clears throat> but uh, she's, she's nothing but supportive of you, just through and through, just fundamentally supportive of you. And so maybe she like looked up and she's like, a little cousin is rushing through. I hope he finds some patience along the way, because I think that that might get in his way if he's impatient. But she doesn't say any of that to you. At least that, that, that's how I would expect her to observe it. Be like, oh no, oh gosh, I hope he's going to be all right. He sure is rushing through that. Um, uh, which is really sweet. And then she's like, no, he's my cousin. I'm, I'm going to take care of him. I'm, I'm going to support him. I believe in him. I'm going to give him every bit of love and support I can. Um, but to see the, the desperation, the, the urgency, to, to see the style in which he's fighting, the way he throws himself at challenges without hesitation. And she's like, there's, there's something, there's a motivation there. There's something, this isn't just that, this isn't just, oh, I want to go, this is, isn't just, I want to change. This is something really big. What is it? <sighs> you know, Artemis, none of us have every piece to know this, except Nyx is the only one in the entire game, I think. Other than obviously Chaos, who presumably knows everything. Um, I think Nyx is the only character in the game who has every single piece of what's going on and knows exactly why. And I think that she is very, very carefully hiding her hand for reasons that I trust actually are probably for the best of everyone, including Zagreus. Like, I think that she's withholding information um, for good reason, but she's definitely withholding information and also breaking the rules. Um, God, I really like, I really like Nyx, too. She's just a great character. I appreciate people keep sharing fan art of her, which is great. She's got, like, the prettiest design ever. Um, 
Anyway, Artemis is great, and I love her, and I'm so satisfied, so happy that she's the first one to have thought about that, too. Like, I'm I'm just, I'm kind of seeing, like, her and Hermes and, and, uh, and um, Dionysus as kind of, like, the three that seem like they're closest to him, if that makes sense. Maybe it's just because you see so much of those two boys because they're, like, the old... I swear they're like the only ones you get most of the time when you're going through fire. I hate the fire. What's the fireplace called? Um, going through there, Persephone's place. Um, so you, I feel like I see more of them and I know them better. I don't know. Um, maybe it's just because I specifically go for these two girls and just try to ignore some of the other gods. So I feel like they're a little more distant. Maybe that's my fault, but asphodel that sounds a lot like one of the guys from good omens right all right so let's see are any of these no they're not faded okay no no cast oh artemis's aid is good not as good as athena's aid but still good asphodel zero fail see like they're like they both begin with an as Okay. I would like to have a call because I don't know which better hide. <gasps> prophecy foretold what did I pick the right one amazing okay um oh this is is this one shopping I don't have any money. Let's go get darkness. Uh, okay. Yeah, I don't have any money for shopping. Oh, cool. And I'm. Let's see if you can live through this. Dad, like it's just like such a fundamentally bad thing for a dad to say, you know. Oh, jeez. I'm not surviving very well here. I can't lose one of my lives already. That would be... <laughs> this is... This is a legitimate approach, folks! Have you know that I did an evasive approach to one of those when my dash was reduced? I did the dash reduced, right? Right? I think I did. So good. I'm so proud of myself. I think that's a legitimate approach. You know, I'm just saying. Sometimes you're not well suited for that. I feel like I'm just walking slower too. Like it's not just my dash. Um, like recovering health is nice. Don't get me wrong. But I mean, I guess if I'm gonna lose a life, I'm gonna lose a life. So let's see. Oh, oh, a Allow game. Me, boy, to introduce some of my royal subjects. Okay, slay foes quickly. Oh jeez, oh my god. I don't usually have problems with the numbskulls, but I have a really hard time with them with spears. Is that another? <laughs> oh, so I walk slower, but my dash is the same, okay. Take it. Okay, so I am slower. Well, then it worked out that I was just literally dashing that whole time, huh? All right, well, that worked out for us. Good job, us. <sighs> the, 
The stream may chug and we may just have to deal with the chugging stream through this run, even if it's awkward. Oh no, not the boom. Where are you? There you are. No, you stop that. Oh God, I am so slow. I'm so slow, holy crap. That guy was just like hiding behind the pillar. Like maybe if I don't move, he won't notice me. No, no, there's witches. Okay, so numbskulls seem to have been the hardest problem with the spears, so. Oh god, I hit so far away. Bam! Yes! Look at all this explosions. Yay! Okay, so now I'm faster and more awesome. Bum, bum, bum. Oh no, don't make me choose between the girls. I'm not going to choose between, although I have to admit I am really curious. What's going to happen? Because it seems like they think it's playful instead of being mad. I am really curious. I think I might try it and see what happens. Because I always reject these. And I don't want to make them mad at me. But I think it'll be okay. Uh, I'm going to risk it. Because we're, we, we're, we're going to be bold. We're going to try the scary thing. Hi and bye, Sean. I hope you have a, I hope you have a good evening as you lurk. Okay. I mean, we all know who I'm going to choose first. Hey, thanks. <laughs> That's all she says. Oh my god, I love her. She's like, oh, cool. Oh. That's faded choice. We got to take it. All right, what's up? What's up? reputation to uphold okay she doesn't sound like super mad I mean I've actually I think only done the uh, the versus thing like this like once before shoot. I feel like I would probably do much better if I like use more of my moves, but I'm not for whatever reason. I'm not using my moves. Why are you impervious? No, you stop being impervious. I don't like it when you're impervious. Have you considered maybe not being impervious? Just a thought. No, you, you, are, are you bigger? Will you forgive me? Will you forgive me? Now then, I hope we can move past this little incident and keep our focus on the task at hand. Oh, of course. She's like, well, I'm obligated to do this to uphold my honor. Okay. Anyway, moving on. She did what she was obligated to do for her honor. Resist damage from traps. That's nice. I'm not gonna cast. Sorry, I'm not gonna cast. Cast. Okay, sure. Your wisdom guide me. Yay! Something smells funny. I hope it's not in my room. I hope it's downstairs. Hold on. No, it doesn't smell like it's my computer. Just, so things you worry about. Hydrolite. I don't have a lot of money. And I'm about to go to shopping center, so let's go shop at the shopping center. Kieran's shop. Oh, hello, friends. Hi. He's so talkative. Daggers is not even trying this time around. <laughs> I love when you do something and all of like there's like a whole bunch of ghosties are like. Um, it just cracks me up. Okay, so I can't afford that, but I can buy more darkness. I can use this. This is usually a good idea. I mean, I probably should have got the life, but whatever. We'll find out. Got a feeling it's to Stephanie this time. 
Yep. I guess I was wrong. Oh. So. Oh, good. If you're no god, you're nothing but a piece of trash, born into all of this, <laughs> and you don't even want it. Alexa, what is your problem? What is your problem? Also, Chrono, thank you for subscribing. I'm sorry, I was busy being distracted by the video game. You seem to have me all figured out. And here I thought we were still getting to know each other. <laughs> He's frustrated. Yes, I was. I've been streaming. Actually, last month, well, not last month, earlier this month was my six year stream anniversary. Um, but I didn't do anything about it because I was in Texas at the time. And I feel like it's a little late to do a stream anniversary thing. Um, so, tragically, I think we're going to miss the coolness of a stream anniversary stream, but maybe we'll do a cool stream in the new apartment. Uh, just to celebrate that. Um, but yeah, I guess they must have had uh, three years of being able to support people. So, yeah, just like thank you to everybody who's supported me ever, like, by uh, either, like, spreading the word about my streams or, like, if you support me on Patreon or um, subscribe on Twitch or things. Like, that's very, uh, I don't know. It's very generous and kind of you, and I appreciate it. So I will do my best to try to give you a good time in return. Um, which is not a thing that Meg's sister here is going to do. She's not interested in anyone else having a good time. Zagreus is not happy with how this is going. And he's like kind of tried to make a good impression on Meg's sisters as much as he can. Well, you wanna know what I want? Here, I'll show you. What is your problem, lady? Guitars. God, I love guitars. Okay. I'm going to kill you. Yeah, but I've got like a million lives, so maybe I can take you out this time. I've never defeated her. Oh jeez. Okay, here we go. No, what do you do? What even was that? Did she get hit by that? Oh jeez, what are you doing? No, I don't Oh god. Okay, hold on. No. Can I hit her when she's doing that? Oh, she has a rage meter. Holy crap. That doesn't sound good. I don't think I want that. Rage meter's really high. I don't think that's good. Oh no! I don't know what just happened. Oh, I hit the wrong button before. Wait! I've been apparently hitting the wrong button trying to summon Artemis before. Oh! I would not have been able to do that without her. My goodness, hold on, I'm just gonna go over here and smash this so that I don't forget. <laughs> the timing of that was amazing! Hi, base. Okay, well... Well, we did it. I don't think we would've been able to do that without Artemis. There's like super ultra extra powered up Artemis. And I... If I were to draw fan art of something that had occurred in this game, having Zagreus like all bleeding and like and like like doing this and like Artemis like like showing up to like protect him and she's taking the shot and it's dramatic because 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 Artemis cares about Zagreus and so she's not just doing this because she wants to look good she's not just doing this because she wants to impress him like her like coming in in his desperation in his time of need and 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 whatever like force they have to use so that she can come down through the Olympus telephone and actually do something in the like this off limits to her part of the world 
<clears throat> I think it's really cool. I just now. think it's cool. Okay, I just I think it's neat. <laughs> Man, that was that was that was really exciting. I didn't think I didn't think we were gonna beat her. I was like I was like this run is over. This run is done. Doesn't matter how many lives I have. Like I can't I can't beat Tisiphone. No, elect uh, not ele the one whose name is like Electro. Or Electra. Elect 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 Electo. That's why I thought okay. She's a lot harder. Like Meg, not that like Meg is, is easy, but I've meet I've I've beaten Meg a bunch at this point. And I've beaten Murder like three times? Two times? <coughs> More times. Bye, Ryan. Have a good night's sleep. We'll try not to uh, get defeated too easily here. Well, father. <laughs> he challenges his dad to be sassy, and his dad doesn't sass. Whatever, dad. We don't need you anyway. Did I get my health up? Did did Artemis restore my health when she did her super hardcore amazingness? That was pretty amazing. Just okay. Anything I want to sell? I need these. No, I'm good. The darkness did. Thank you, Chrono. Uh, meh, meh. meh. Keep the contractors busy. It, it makes dad angry. <laughs> well, I hope you'll forgive me for the fact that I never call her by name. She's just murder. <laughs> oh, man. Cool. All right. So this is my first time defeating Electo. Oh, that's true. I suppose she does. Yes, we've been here. We've been here quite a few times. Okay, can we still go emo over here? I'm brooding. I back down. Not now or ever. That sounds like a Bon Jovi song, and I'm here for it. I actually unironically like Bon Jovi. And I, I could sing like two different Bon Jovi songs that contain lyrics to, to be that. I think. There's also, um, who is that? Yes. Oh my God. So many people don't like Bon Jovi. If you say you like Bon Jovi, they're like, really? Especially if you're like, well, I like Bon Jovi, but my favorite band is the Goo Goo Dolls. <laughs> they're sellouts. That's just chick music. Because as soon as something is popular with women, then it can't actually be good. It just appeals to women. Whatever. Whatever. Johnny Resnick writes and sings with his heart on his sleeve. And they still perform like a punk band, and I love the Goo Goo Dolls forever and ever. So there. Bon Jovi is not dad rock. He's like, okay, so I like earnest rogues with a heart of gold, okay? And you can't tell me that John Bon Jovi isn't that. Oh, look at me not taking damage from the fire so much. Thanks. Uh, I think that one is, is, uh, Athena helping me with that? Oh, jeez. Let's not, let's not get set on fire. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, oh, hold on. Bam, bam, no! There's fire, no! Oh my god, why is this no? Will you stop? I hate you! That didn't work, did it? Will you stop? I hate you! Oh my god, now there's fire! Why is it all like this? It's so bad. I don't like it. Okay, get away from this. Okay. Alright. Hi, Hermes. Calling me. She's pretty good at that, I have to say. I'm faster. But she's fast. Pretty fast, all right. <laughs> I'm pretty sure from Hermes, that's that's his way of saying he likes her. He's like, yeah, yeah. This, this is this is a vote of approval. Like, yeah, I mean, she's fast. Like, he wouldn't say that if he didn't like her. So cool. Quick favor. Your god gauge charges up automatically. Oh, that sounds like a really good combination. Hyper sprint. Yeah, let's do that. That's the stuff. 
All right, so we've got a key and a friend, excuse me, but when friendship is an option, friendship. Must be Eurydice. I love her. I love her. I love the way she's just like, hi, hon. It's just... So one of the things that I really appreciate about her, and this is, again, one of the things that is wildly different from any other incarnation of Eurydice I have ever encountered. <clears throat> Eurydice has similarities, usually, as I, I know I've said this before, to the way Persephone is in, in, in legend and in, in, in the myths. <clears throat> where they're frequently like younger women, younger vulnerable women. Um, and so like, you know, Persephone uh, presumably will meet her. I don't know, but she is the mother. She is an adult. She is a grown woman in this story. Um, which is an interesting perspective on Persephone. And it's not an unprecedented perspective on Persephone, because if I remember correctly, Hades Town, which I'm not super familiar with, but I'm somewhat familiar with, has a really bitter, jaded adult Persephone. Um, as Eurydice, if I remember correctly, is the younger, um, there's a word for it. <clears throat> uh, what's the word for the, the, the young, young, innocent girls? Um, anyway, I can't think of it, but there's a term. And, uh, and that's like ingenue that's the word i was looking for that is exactly the word i was looking for thank you mr spaghetti zone no that's it right there an ingenue um <clears throat> and they both fill that role in a lot of stories um so it's really interesting to me that that is not the case with either of them in this game because the little tiny bit of persephone that we've seen because we haven't actually like seen her but we read her and she has a very strong personality sorry it's either this or I'm going to sing along with this music. Um, but she is very much uh, like she is a grown, strong woman, a grown, strong mother aged woman. Like she, we don't see her being maternal. My theory is that she doesn't know that she has a son. Um, it's not unprecedented for Greek myths to have children be born in non-traditional ways. Um, but also, I would expect Eurydice because she does fill that role frequently. And yet here she is. She's older than Zagreus. She's confident and mature. She's a woman who knows herself and what she wants. Like, she comes across as like a woman in her 30s, like level of grown upness. Not like even like, oh, she's in her early 20s. She's not a teenager anymore. Like, no, she comes across as a, as a grown up. And that's... I don't know if they sat down and were like, we want to have these characters who are usually young be grown-ups um, as an intentional thing, or if it's just kind of like, that's the way that they approached these characters. I like it because it gives them more agency, but it's striking. So when she says, hi, hun, that is an older woman talking to a younger man. Like that is, that is like, like a big sisterly type um, way of speaking. Like we don't have formalized ways of like this is this is the form of address that you use based on levels of like formality and stuff like like for example Japanese has like different layers and levels and stuff and so you how you address people is different like we don't have anything that formal in English but we have nuance and hi hun is is what and like like the, the the woman who is speaking informally to you from like a, a, a position of like greater age or, or 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 power or something like that maybe i'm the only one who's reading it into that way but like that's to me that's kind of what it is like hi hun is something i might say if i met like if there was like a teenager who i was like like you know my, my next door neighbor's kid or something like that and i was like you know come on over i made cookies like tell me about your bad day i know high school is i know high school sucks like that that's what i would say in that situation <laughs> Um, with that kind of connection. And that's kind of what this is. This is her being like, oh, it's the, you know, it's this, this, this nice, this nice kid. I'm going to feed him some food, you know? I 
I feel like Eurydice in this game is like big sister role model goals. I think so. Do as I may. No hunger. No sleep except to dream. Wild and warm. Safe from all harm. Oh. Oops. Yes. All right, let's talk to her. How long have you been down here anyway, if you don't mind my asking? Seems like you're pretty settled in. It's quite a lovely place. He's so polite. He's so polite. I love this relationship right here. I really do like the big sisterliness of her and how he's just this like sweet, charming puppy dog of a little brother figure. He's so cute. I love Zagreus. I would be happy to be a big sister figure to Zagreus. He's a precious boy. He's so How sweet. Long have I been down here, huh? huh? I don't have the faintest. You lose your sense of time once you're a shade, or maybe once there's not a sun or moon over your head. But yeah, I found myself a decent spot and fixed it up a bit. <laughs> so they, they gave her a lot of sass and character in her design and in the, the way that she stands. I like the detail of like, she's speaking to you, so she's not singing, but the music keeps going. All right. I think I have four. I think I'm going to take the palm porridge. I think we're going to do that. Someone shared a fact about pomegranates last week and I don't remember what it was. Here, enjoy. Thanks oh, so much. I only had three. Well, whatever. Hold on. What about Atlas? What is she singing about? Huh. There's something that I don't quite know there. Yes, no, I just, I think she might be singing about a dream in a way. Bye now. See you. Oh man. More spreaders. Spreaders? Get out of there. Oh, jeez. Oh, God, there's going to be another round of them, isn't there? Oh, no, it's these guys. I don't know what these guys are. What are these guys? Oh, my God, I have to take you out. Hold on. No, you stop that. Are you invulnerable? No, I'm going to hit you. I'm going to hit you, and you're going to go away. Yes, and then you're going to go away. No! Oh my god, I'm gonna be on fire. I really don't want to be on fire. That's like one of the things I most don't want in life is being on fire. No! What are you? What are you? You're like a fighting game character, like trying to combo attack me. Stop it! Backstab, backstab, backstab. Yeah! I'm a little low on health here, folks. I don't think I'm gonna be able to take out the uh, Hydra this time around. That's okay. I needed one of those. Pah. Pah. 
If I hadn't bought all of that other stuff. I think she's pretty great, and she definitely is uh, is big sisterly. Oh yeah, it helped. It helped me. <laughs> That's not a word, Lauren. <laughs> is now. Got to look around for like any monies. That was a good decision. Oh man. Oh, both of these have the little skull on them, which I used to think meant that that meant there was a boss, but it doesn't mean there's a boss. It means the monsters are harder. Do we want more Athena? Or do we want more? Probably should have taken different porridge. Oh, well. Yeah, let's do Athena. Moving on. Moving on. Oh, no, this is a boss. This isn't good. Oh, my God, no! Ah, oh, jeez. Get out of the fire! Oh, my God, sorry. I'm just running right into the fire, which is the opposite of getting out of the fire. God, there's so much fire. I probably ought to concentrate my attack on one of them. Oh, jeez. Okay, that's the worst combination. Oh, jeez. Ugh. Yeah, this is not going to be it. That could have gone better, but it didn't. Do I want to give... Have I given her? Have I given her? I have not. Yes, let's do it. Yay! Okay. Let's do it. Uh, this button. I'm indebted to you, goddess, for all that you and your side of the family have done for me. <laughs> your side of the family, yeah. <laughs> Well, it simply isn't in my nature to allow such offerings to go unanswered, noble cousin. In turn, I wish for you to have this with my compliments. Yay! Thank Owl pendant. Thank you. Yay! I want there to be people cosplaying as these characters when we can finally do events again. Olympus, I accept this message. Oh! <gasps> Duo. I don't think I can say no to that. I don't even know how to deflect, but I don't think I can say no to that. Because it's so cool. Oh my god. Wait. Replenish one use. Does this replenish a death defiance? I think it does. I'm sorry. I can't. I can't. This replenishes a death defiance, doesn't it? Because if it does, I have to take it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. As cool as the duo is, and as excited as I am for those two to team up. Prophecy foretold. Oh, I like that. Um, 
as good as all that is, I wanted. Oh, I didn't. But it didn't give me a. I. 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 But I. I don't. Oh well. Oh well. It didn't do that. I thought it would, and it didn't. It's true. Duos are exciting. Will you stop that? Will you stop that? Nobody likes you. Stop being a little jerk. What's the music doing? Where's the bad guy? There's the drums. Oh, what are you doing? You should not be reaching out. No, I don't like that. Go back. Go back in your lava pit. Oh, did it? Okay. I must have missed another one. Get out of there. Oh, jeez. So many of them. I can't do this. I'm gonna have to. You know what? Artemis believes in me and she's here to help. If I need it, I can call on her. See? Look at that. If you need it, you can call on her, they say. Okay. Don't let those hit you. Okay, there's one more. Okay, we got it. We did it. It was a little hard, but we did it. There's like capsized graves. Yeah, you know, you need better interior decorating, buddy. Okay, this is the one that's gonna heal me, so we're gonna have to do that even though it doesn't even though it has the harder monsters. Everything's gonna be harder monsters. It'll be like the barge, I bet. My luck it's gonna be like, hey, we know you just fought a mini boss. How do you feel about the barge? And I'm like, uh, I'm not really thrilled. And I'm like, too bad. Too bad. Too bad. Oh, the icon is a little Athena shield? Oh it is, you're right. Oh cool. Right, I can hit these guys from really far away. I have to remember that. Okay. Oh, did that not work? Jeez. Oh, I think that the Athena head, not the Athena head, the Medusa head, not the same, is the biggest threat here, so. Oh, jeez! I should have summoned her. <laughs> He's like, I'm going to be sassy and contrary. Okay. Oh, God, there's, a, there's so many of them. Oh, my God. No! You've got to be kidding me. One way of doing things. Look what I found. Okay. Well, what have you got to offer me? Nope. I don't need it. Which path? All right. So we've got palm or spending. Palm or spending. Um. 
I mean, really, it depends on what he has. But if he has, for example, a Death Defiance refill, um, that's worth a lot. So let's let's try that just in case. Look at me strategizing. I'm strategizing. Ah, sorry. <gasps> What is that? What is that? It's a palm with a question mark. Hi friend, what is with your palm question mark? Why don't we get more Artemis and then try the question mark palm? Oh, I don't have enough for that. Oh, I thought I did. I don't have quite enough. Okay, do I want the Artemis or do I want the question mark palm? Hmm. Hmm. Might as well. Give me a better boon. I don't know what that was, but but we did it. I think that might have changed out one of them, which I'm not sure is a good idea. Bone Hydra, you look oh no! Come on! Come on! You've got to be kidding me! I should have seen this coming. Oh, I probably should have hit that before that, huh? You probably want to hit that before it has a chance to turn into one of those guys, huh? Oh well! Are you serious? I hate you, Bone Hydra. At least I can hit it from very far away, which makes this much... makes it slightly better. Lernian. I feel like I've seen that somewhere else before. Oh good, you've made babies. Good, I do love it when you... No! Oh my god, stop that. Oh, and now there's- now you're dropping fire- oh, and, and that too! Right! Yes, of course! Silly me! Silly me! I wasn't taking enough damage! Oh my god. Okay, well there goes one of them. That's one way of doing things. Oh god, stop eating me and die already! Oh my god, this guy is punching me so badly. It's a bad time. Oh, he got on fire though, so there's that. They can get on fire too. No, you stop that! Oh my god, I'm not having a good time here. Okay, I see, I see, I see. You can use the god boon sometimes. Oh god. I don't know what just happened there, but okay. Oh my god, there's still a baby over here that I haven't killed yet. It's really close, I think. Okay, yeah. I don't know what it's doing, but if he says it's not good... I don't know what's happening, but it's not good. No! Stop it! Oh my god, will you damage your own guys? How dare. Okay. <laughs> you know, Hades, Hades, he's got a serious chip on his shoulder, you know, about this whole, like, oh. Chrono wants me to go drink water, so I'm gonna get some water in a moment. But yeah, like, Hades has this feeling of inferiority. 
So he has to brag about his superiority. Like, one thing that I have learned is that a lot of people who are genuinely confident in themselves don't boast. There are people who are genuinely confident in themselves and they just talk about how amazing they are constantly. <clears throat> but a lot of the people who are, like, most talented, most connected, most wonderful, like, they don't need to brag because they know they're amazing, you know? Hold on, I'm going to grab... <clears throat> oh! My controller's right there. I'm going to grab some water. Keep Sophie's up there, too. No. Okay. Oh, my goodness. My goodness. Okay. <clears throat> I have some water. I recommend you all drink some water, too. Which is probably a good idea. I've been talking so much. I feel like I've been talking more than I've talked in a little while on a stream. <clears throat> there we go. Okay. Yeah, so Hades clearly has some, some, some issues here that he's handling very poorly. Tartarus. He would say they had their chance and knew the risks of leading hateful lives. If someone spends all of his time punishing others, even if he initially starts off focused on justice, does he not run the risk of becoming um, focused instead on vengeance and violence? Is is the act of is the act of being the one who the one who, who, who meets at the punishments, does that dehumanize you? Yes, in, in, in people at least. Um, that's, that's kind of been shown to be true. Um, and so uh, perhaps in losing <clears throat> his whatever empathy he might have had for the, uh, the fallen, um, perhaps he also lost his ability to feel empathy for and love for his family. Maybe not, not connected. All right, what's going on, Electo? That the behest of their impulsive passions. What is Meg's? Have we been told Meg's? I don't remember. Are then the Furies here given the true names of the Furies? Because I don't remember. And I know that Meg is, is Meg in uh in the Hercules movie. Um and she's named for one of the Furies. Let's see. Shield of Chaos. Oh, this is so beautifully. This is so beautifully written. It's so beautifully written. I confess I had to look away from it. The family of weapons used to end, end the Titan War. The other members of it seem almost alive in their own way, but there is no almost about this. It instills in me a feeling I would rather leave unnamed. May the next bearer of Aegis... Aegis? meet it on agreeable terms. It's so good. It's so good. I love Achilles. I think he he might be my favorite character, other than our boy. <clears throat> I think our boy Zagreus is my favorite character. But I'm a big fan of what they've done with Achilles, especially because I had no particular interest in Achilles. Like, he's not a favorite of mine. Um, he's not a favorite of mine as uh like myth mythological figures go okay aegis okay hello <coughs> i've noticed watching the full extension, you know 
the ripples in the blood and everything, <laughs> and sometimes somebody pops out of there like you. Hal staff and guests of honor, no one else. I sign them in and help make sure they have a pleasant stay. Is that is that so? Are you the um the uh what's it called in a in a hotel? Ah, uh, there's a term for that. It seems like he, he he greets folks like it's like a welcome to our to our fabulous hotel. Please, I hope you enjoy your stay. Come right on in. I don't know if concierge is right, but yeah. Well, sign me in then. <laughs> All right, let's make the rounds and go talk to everyone who's here. Oh yay! Hello, friend. Um, Achilles, sir. There's something I've been wondering about your codex. The words are yours, and yet it's through my actions that I'm able to absorb them. Is that how mortal scriptures always work? Okay, so first of all, I love the fact that Zagreus is over here questioning, like, how things work in the game. He's like, hey, so I noticed this gameplay mechanic thing, and I'm wondering whether that's actually, like, in that he's establishing that the experience that we, the player, are having with it is, in fact, like, through the fourth wall, the experience that the characters are having with it. Um, which is interesting. That's not always the case. Like, um, <clears throat> when I mentioned the encyclopedia in Star Ocean 3, um, of how it updates when you hear a thing, like, that's kind of, like, not... Sorry, my glasses are, are dirty. Um, <clears throat> it's kind of not uh, the way it works in, in the game world. There's there's that disconnect. And there's language for this, and I don't remember what it is. Um, but it's cool that it's not that way. And I also very appreciate that he doesn't know how things go when mortals write things, because how would he know? You have to understand, lad. I've been here in your father's realm for quite some time. My documented learnings became bound to me, much like the spear, you see. You can undo those bindings over time. Thus, my knowledge can be yours, whatever it amounts to. Hmm. So does that mean he has his own codex? And what he's written down in it becomes what's in my codex? As I do things? Hmm. Or perhaps it's his knowledge and his thoughts rather than the words that he would put on paper. And as I do things, that like peels away the bindings of his knowledge and brings it to me. I see. I think I'm grateful for it, sir. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little confused too, Zagreus, but that's okay. Oh, hello. Thank you for waiting. Puppy. Hello. <laughs> All three of Cerberus the Watchdog's terrifying countenances greet the prince. It's funny because the narrator is so scared of this. Like, the narrator describes this dog as though he's scary, but he's not remotely scary because you're playing as Zagreus, and this is Zagreus' beloved puppy. If the game makes you fight Cerberus, we will have words. Just, just saying. Take care. Pet the dog. Oh my good boy, yes you are. So cute. We'll see if they're willing to do that. God, that makes me think of a thing in the Dark Souls DLC that I won't say. Diegetic! Thank you, Blinksbat. Yeah, like my vocabulary is completely failing me, but at least I remember that these concepts exist. <sighs> Maybe my memory will be good one of these days. Maybe. Oh, what am I listening to? Oh, oh, hello. Oh, what's going on here? It is plain to me that you are helping him. In spite of my insistence, you do not. What do you expect that I should do about this, Nyx? What would you do in my position? Deception in my very house and home. <sighs> Answer me. This isn't good. I thought he was just kind of like tolerating and rolling his eyes like, oh my god, why is she still doing this? I didn't realize this was like actually a problem. So that's not good. Hades, my relationship with him remains unchanged. It is the very same relationship from when you first requested I take care of him. He has my full support and always shall. You must know this. He wishes now to leave. I shall make no attempt to stop him. She's putting out on him. She's like, well, you asked me to act like his mom. So I'm going to act like his mom. What good is any one of you? He's not even your son, and yet you coddle him. You know as well as I that he cannot succeed. You fill his mind with harmful delusions. 
If that is what you want for him, then please proceed at pace. Is he literally incapable of leaving? If he leaves the underworld, will he just die? If he leaves the underworld, like, will he immediately be summoned back? Has he been created in some way out of the essence of the underworld so that it is literally impossible for him to leave? Like, is Hades in his own messed up way trying to prevent his son from suffering and doing a terrible job of it? I don't think so. I don't think so because Nyx seems to think that there's something to be gained in encouraging him and there's something going on with fate. But there's something mysterious. Not about his parentage. We've got that resolved, I think. But there is something mysterious about how Zagreus came to be and who and what Zagreus is. And I'm very curious about that. So this is the problem with me having a speculation is that if I like it, I'll just keep pile thing piling things on top of it as though that speculation has been proven in any way. It hasn't. This whole Persephone doesn't know that Zagreus exists because Hades did some sort of forbidden thing to make Zagreus exist. There's no actual, like, nothing in the game has actually given me that. That's purely my own speculation out of the characterization of Persephone in a single letter and the fact that she doesn't sound or act in any way like she has, like, like she knows, she, she doesn't make any acknowledgement of being a mother or of Zagreus existing. Um, and so from there, I'm like, well, why would that be? Um, because I, I, she doesn't seem like someone who just doesn't care. Like, even if she didn't care about leaving him, I think she would acknowledge his existence if she knew he existed. Um, but I don't know. Like, how did you make your son Hades? What did you do? And how does it bind him here? I don't know. Jeff Centaur, thank you for subscribing. Or I guess resubscribing, friend. Thank you and welcome. I'm, I, and like, if you're somebody who wants to like talk about this stuff, um, we have the spoiler chat on Discord, which is where conversations about this sort of thing take place because then I don't see it. So if you're all like, where did she get that from? Why does she keep coming back to it? Oh my God. That's the place to do it. And if I've actually guessed right about something and you're all yelling, like that's where you can do that yelling too. Um, <laughs> and Chrono's got you covered with the discord. Anyway, I wonder about this. You know as well as I that he cannot succeed. Like, is he fated to doom? Like, is, is he fated to return? Because I know that you can beat the game. But then you can continue the game and the cycle continues. And so unfortunately, because I have that meta knowledge, I feel like within the plot, it may be that in a way like Zagreus is cursed to be unable to leave or something like that. I don't know. But I don't know. I she just... again because of me. No, Zagreus, this... <sighs> They have at least written him like the child of a, an abusive parent and an unhealthy relationship dynamic between his parents. But since he's thought of them as his parents for his whole life, um, when he's like, it's because of me, I'm like, no, honey, it is not because of you. Like, the problem here is not your fault. The problem here is what's going on. It is it's Hades himself. Hades, you're a problem. He hates it when I, oh, come on. He'll yell at me sometimes if I run behind his desk. I like that. All right. <clears throat> what can I renovate? I can't afford any of this. <laughs> How much money? Where's my monies? Oh, I don't have a lot of monies. Okay. Yeah, this is all aesthetics. More aesthetics. As cool as having a wall scroll of my, of my, my teacher would be, I, I do really think Achilles is pretty great. But it's a cosmetics thing, so. Oh, I have, I have a crystal. I have a diamond. I could do this. Is there anything else that I use a diamond for? <sighs> okay. Contractor's Desk Deluxe. Oh. Maybe I should save my diamonds for that. An object that unlocks something you could not do without it. 
I want that. So I guess I'm just going to try to kill that kill that guy some more. No, no, I don't want to know. Oh, hello, Zagreus. Uh, I was just wondering if you had ever heard of any other court musicians who had lost the will to sing. You, your father's asked me to explain myself, and honestly, it has been rather difficult. I really don't know, Orpheus. I really don't know. If it's any consolation, mate, I'm certain every single undead court musician serving in the throne room of the God of the Dead has been through everything you're going through. So it's not just that he won't do it. It's there's, he's having some sort of a mental block. Maybe, you know, if you didn't treat him badly, Hades. Maybe. Just maybe he would be able to get past this. Perhaps a song would be in order at this time. Oh. Oh! Oh! Look at it! Look at it! Look. work from the house contractor. I'm so proud of the house contractor. Oh, hi. Have I somehow created the impression that I wish to speak with you? Because if so, there's been a terrible mistake. Meg. <sighs> the first of the Furies. Does that mean she's the oldest sister? She doesn't act like it. Um, so, Sol, um, yeah, if you, if you go to the Discord, um, just ask the mods to give you the stream spoilers um, status and uh, they will make it so you can see the stream spoilers channel and then you can all yell together <laughs> Meg Meg <gasps> oh it's the preciousest little hello little friend um Miss Dusa I ran into hostile gorgons that resembled you out there in Asphodel resembled only in the vaguest sense I mean they lacked your charm or social graces anyway I just hope you are not related since I sort of you know he's so cute he's so cute he's like please tell me I didn't just go murder your relatives please like it's fine and dandy for him to beat up like Meg's sisters because like Meg's sisters want to kill him and that's kind of his relationship with Meg too but Dusa is sweet and he doesn't want to hurt her I'm glad like I was trying to figure out what the deal was with the Gorgons just in the loosest sense like say you had some nasty almost mindless siblings born entirely from your own blood something like that do you have any idea how hard it was to get a steady job because of them oh no dusa did they all come i guess i guess i guess her her blood creates more gorgons and that was a problem Some nasty, almost mindless siblings born entirely from your own blood. Sounds like Greek mythology. So I have your permission to continue hacking down such gorgons with impunity. Just the phrasing of this delights me. Just delights me so much. When my brain is fully functional, sometimes I can talk like this. But... Oh, yes, absolutely. Thanks for asking, Prince. Oh, oh, and she didn't run away. We had a good conversation. Oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. She's so cute. Oh. Somebody here. Hello, Chef. Oh, Chef doesn't have anything to say. Alright. I love that Chef is cutting onions. Alright, what kind of bad deals are over here? Wretched broker, what's new, my friend? <laughs> my friend. See, see, like, Zagreus and I, we get each other. Keys, nectar. So, thinking about the gameplay from like a sort of meta perspective, you get Gorgon's blood each time you fight a Gorgon with a new weapon that hasn't fought a Gorgon before. There's a finite number of those. 
Presumably the same thing happens with the diamond, I guess, but I've only got the one diamond. So have I only ever beat the, gor the, 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 the Hydra with the shield? I don't know. Titan's blood. I just was talking to Disa about Gorgons. Titan's blood. Yeah, sorry. My brain auto-filled that. That many tries so far? 21. Oh, look at this! What do we get? Right question fate. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit of monies. Nice yeah. To have my ancient legendary weapons there. <laughs> He's like, I feel kind of cool about this. Oh, 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 oh! Why did this have an exclamation point? Okay. <sighs> Who's my favorite? Who's my favorite? Oh, yes, I did. I got the bazooka. I didn't use it, though. I choose Hermes a lot, too. For some reason, I thought I'd chosen Dionysus more often, but I haven't. Still working on that. Close at heart. Oh. What does that give? I don't know what those are. I don't have all of those things either. So I feel like it shouldn't show them to me if I haven't unlocked them. I think something is wrong with the uh, flagging here. But that's okay. Those who would be closer to him. All right. I can grow Ting. Stronger. Can I? I don't care about that. Shadow presence do. I do think I, I think I do more back attacks. I think I do more back attacks. So I think I'm going to try this. Oops. Buttons. How do I? Oh, okay. Okay. There we go. Oh, wow. I now do 50% extra damage when I do back attack. That's pretty nice. I'll take that. I'm wide awake. All right. No snoozing. All right. Shall we try again, folks? Might want to check your stash of weapons over there. Investigate the infernal arms. What's up, Skelly? So the strangest thing happened while you were out, boy, yo. Uh, one of your weapon holder things back there, it picked up this eerie glow. C could see it from the corner of my eye. Look, Chrono, my priority was more lies. <laughs> and I was going to save up for that. Okay, so now they're going to explain this thing that I figured out already. Calm down, Skelly. I'm sure whatever it is, is perfectly normal for a legendary semi-sentient titan slaying weapon from oh the dawn of time. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. I love this. I want to write like this. I write like this sometimes. I just, I, it makes me so happy. It makes me happy when people write like this. It's just, it makes me feel good. Other people can do this. I can do this. We can do this and it's fun. Yeah. That's just it. Those weapons of yours, they have seen some real business, pal. You're giving them a real workout, so maybe they're starting to like you or something. Loosening up a bit, you know, like you and me. Skelly, you've been my friend since the moment I stepped out here. I should go check it out. Yeah, but first, I gotta go brood. You know how it is. Probably this chamber is still 37, right? Yeah, he does not have anything to say. Amazing. At a loss for words. Oh, look, it's all sparkly. Let's see what that one does. Okay. Yay! I do love her. 
Oh, this would be a really hmm. <laughs> look at look at that wisdom from Flutie Bot. Thank you, Flutie Bot. Owl pendant, adamant arrowhead. Amazing. I hope that there are people out there who are like crafting these keepsakes, like on Etsy or something like that. I should probably use more than the lucky tooth sometimes. Probably. The sounds they make. That just sounds like it's not right. I feel like I should probably try one of these others. Because I bet that I get something for it. This is how they get you. This is how they get you. I just really like having an extra life, but I guess I have a whole bunch of lives. Does this. <laughs> Not even like a crack of boom. Just a little bzz, bzz, bzz. Oh, you can hear her voice. Oh, I like that. I don't think I've used this one. Sure. Wrong button. Okay. It's probably a terrible idea. I'm going to do it anyway. Oh! Oh, you're all, like, bubbly. I thought it was going to be explaining to me that, like, that. But instead it's got reveal and it's all bubbly. Is it going to level up? Is it going to level up? What in blazes? Haratha, you were once father's spear. This is currently beyond your reckoning. Aspect of Zagreus. Achilles and Hades. Hmm. Oh! Oh, I can choose this one to unlock using Titan's blood. Hmm. Oh. The God of the Dead discarded the Eternal Spear for a larger counterpart. You know, Hades, Hades has a chip on his shoulder. Its shape reflects the bearer's true, true self, hiding its own all the while. That's curious. Is it going to like literally look different? bad dad. He's a bad dad. I'm interested in that. I never use it though. I have used this before. Did I unlock it? Oh, you can level. Oh my God. There's so much things. There's so much things. Okay, this is how you get more. I assume whichever version of the thing, if you defeat one of the one of the Megs, then you um then you get an extra Titan's blood for that thing. I I'm curious about this, but I just don't like Hades. So let's do that. <gasps> What's going on back there? Oh it's cool looking! Hey, check it out. Never been stabbed quite like that. Whoa, it has more reach. Oh. oh, that's way more dramatic. Hold on. So you can do regular recall or you can do you run thing. That was the perfect timing there, wasn't it? I do like getting the extra darkness, Miss but... Me, boy, yo. Ready, Exegrit? Exegrit. Thing, eh? I guess I should. 
Oh, once you have it equipped. You're telling me your secrets. Oh, oh my God. Okay, I was wondering if we were going to see more of the deities. Because, I mean, first of all, Apollo is a rather conspicuous absence. I'm mad at Apollo. I will never forgive him um, for, for killing Orion. Um, well, leading to Orion's death, but killing Orion. Um, Strife herself once stole away with it, and was it such was its destructive allure. Hmm, interesting. The image of the noble griffin belies its true intent and all its power. Before she was goddess of the hearth, she special specialized in another type of fire. You can tell me Hestia used the gun. Hestia is not a bazooka type. <sighs> Infernal arms reveal new aspects to their bearers when the fates decide. Okay. Yeah, the idea of, of, of Hestia, the bazooka <laughs> user, is really weird, but okay. Alright, let's see what we've got going on here. I have to see this now, obviously. Talos? Power filled the bronze giant as they conformed to its massive frame. Demeter? She brings life, they take it. Okay. That's less weird than Hestia. I'm sorry. Hestia is your gentle grandmother. Oh, look at that. Corona. <laughs> it senses stalwart hearts, mostly to stop them, but occasionally to be used. That's funny. Yeah, like Demeter, Demeter punching people is just not as weird or funny to me as Hestia shooting people with a bazooka. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, man. Then we conclude how to pronounce Chiron. Kiron, Chiron. Please help. Um, none dared approach the queen of the gods. The reputation she cultivated. Yeah. I'm curious. And first it was fashioned. The center of living self affirmed its might. Chiron? Okay. Hmm. Like, I want to know Hera. I want to know their take on Hera. I'm really interested in that. Let's Just. test the bond between us. Chaos. All sprang from the primordial depths. Only one artifact bore witness. That's why it's so creepy and freaky. That's why it scares everybody. That's why that's why it's alive and none of the rest of them are quite alive. It was there from the beginning. Zeus. Once he became king of the Olympians, he truly had nothing left to fear. That's a lie. He ate his first wife so that her child would not kill him as he killed his father and as his father killed his grandfather. <laughs> so in fact, he was afraid. But we got Athena anyway. Blitz disc. Like, I don't even care whether these are any good or not. You're giving it's me more. Oh, the sword! Mmm. Yes. Nemesis! Poseidon. Interesting. Interesting. So Poseidon used the sword, and Hades used the spear. Trident. Thing. Oh man. I'm really excited about this. Like, I literally don't care how good they are. Like, that has no interest. To, like, I mean, I'm sure it's very interesting. <laughs> but I'm mostly just really excited. First of all, like, I've just been wondering, like, are they not going to, like, acknowledge the rest of the Pantheon? But they are. So why isn't Hera getting involved? Why isn't Apollo getting involved? I'm not surprised that Hestia doesn't. Um, because she tends to kind of stay in the background, background, which is why Hestia with a bazooka. Hestia with a bazooka. I'm sorry. Grandma's got a shotgun on the back porch. Just not the take on Hestia that I would imagine. Just saying. 
it's a it's a weird one it's a weird it's it's just it's great though it's great all right oops we're gonna take the gun all right Exegriff. I think I should probably your secrets I should probably use it normally before I do a weird version of it yeah, well, they're wrong. Casting is not my friend. Okay, you guys ready? You ready to see how long we go this time? Let's do it. Let's see how we do, folks. Let's see what adventures Again. await us. You found me, Artemis. Yes! Hecate hasn't shown up. So, so Hestia just got mentioned. Hestia and Demeter have not been mentioned um, for the entire game so far, but in this like little tiny reference to the history. Um. <laughs> the last run. Um. Okay, it might be. I, I just don't. I think I've heard people say Hecate. But that doesn't necessarily mean it's the right pronunciation. Um, the last run we got defeated because there was the Super Hydra. That didn't go over very well. But it was a fun run otherwise. I got to see that there was a duo team up attack. But I didn't choose it because I chose an extra death defy. So what do I, 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 I don't remember what, um, what thing I've got equipped. I've got something that isn't the tooth or the feather duster equipped. And I've got the bazooka. Oh, look at you with Exegriff, the rail of adamant. Seems much too noisy complicated as a hunting weapon when you could just use a nice quiet bow, but hey, to each her own. <laughs> She's like, whoa, you've got a gun. I'm not really into guns, she says. They're very common with hunting, but that's not, not Artemis' style. All right. This seems like it's probably a good thing if you like that sort of thing. Hello. Oh, there's bad guys. Reloading. Oh, right. I forgot that reloading is a thing. I don't think I'm going to I don't think I'm going to like this gun. <laughs> Least known among the gods who stood together to depose the titans is Lady Hestia, a reclusive goddess of the hearth and one-time wielder. So they were like, actually, we don't like guns. Amazing. Amazing. Well, I'm glad that Hestia... I love Hestia. I have always loved Hestia. Who is it that she steps down to make room for? It's somebody who, who shows up later, I think. Is it Aphrodite? Or is it like Dionysus? Who does she step down? Dionysus, okay. I thought it, I thought it was because I remember liking that story. <laughs> if it were Aphrodite, I wouldn't. <sighs> yes, it's just, I just, I loved, I loved her. So I, I guess I'm glad to have her gun for like the two seconds that I survive having it. It's not going to go well, folks. More witches. Oh, come on! I mean, at least it does a lot of damage. Okay. That is that is nice though. I, I do like that. Okay. All right. Oh, look, there's a hammer. Okay, normally I'm all about taking the uh taking that, but when there's a hammer, hammer leads to lore.
Oh my god. Alright. Having some power. trouble here. I don't want six fewer bullets. Faster and more accurate gain bullets. We'll do this. Okay. That feels lighter than before. <laughs> oh my god, hold on. Oh, this is so good for property damage. Did I just take damage? I did. Oh my god. I guess I deserved that. Do 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 Oh my god, it's like a real gun. I guess there's a real gun. I guess that's its thing. Anyway. Oh my god. Eek! Guns can be melee weapons if you want them to be. Look, did I ever tell you that when I was in when I was in college? It was actually when I started swearing. I never swore in high school. Then I got to college, and I played time splitters with my friends, and I would snipe people with the fizzy finger because that was the or the rocket launcher, I suppose it was. Because it was the only way I could hit people. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Having some trouble here. Good enough to eat. All right. Cool. Uh, let's go with things that'll heal me. All right. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh my god, there's so many explosives! Look, I'm the one with the explosives here! Do you mind? They do mind. <sighs> Darn it! Oh jeez, I did not realize that I was there. doing super great this run. That's okay. It's my first time using a new... I don't think I could get Dionysus here earlier. I don't know. I thought Dionysus and Hermes mostly showed up in Asphodel. Oh! <sighs> nice! What is... Wait. There's... Okay. So it's just that. Alright. Well, let's talk to him. Hello. You're getting somewhere. Getting somewhere, man. I understand you made it up to Asphodel before. Now that is progress. Keep it up. You keep on going, yeah? <sighs> Dionysus is being the drunk girl in the bathroom who's hyping you up. <laughs> that is what he's being right now. Like, yes, I've made it to Asphodel and I've also made it up to Elysium, but that's okay. Dionysus is drunk. He doesn't know. <sighs> I like him. I've always liked Dionysus. Their take on Dionysus is not at all my take on Dionysus, but I like him. Fundamentally, Dionysus should be a likable, decent dude. Um, that's one thing that is that is that is defined about Dionysus. So it, it's good that he is still likable and good. Okay, trippy shot. Uh, oh, I love this. But I also really want the faded choice. Okay. I don't know what I'm doing anyway, so let's do it. Good. This is glowy. Oh, I thought maybe it was special glowy. 
No, I don't, Chrono. I could just not ever. I could just never cast. No casting. I should probably get keys. Where's the bad guys? There they are. Oh, jeez. That's not- I didn't- I meant- I didn't mean to reload. Oh, I forgot buttons! I forgot buttons! Suddenly forgot buttons! That's what happened right there. Was I forgot which button was attack and I ran into it instead. So it does still happen in this game. Yeah, that was very satisfying. Anything good to shop for? Yeah. Oh, I got healed. So nice. All right. So armed with my bazooka, let's go. Uh, <clears throat> let's go do this. I suppose I should take the money once sometimes, but uh oh. oh. go look at that I'm really genuinely not sure oh look at that I wasn't sure how getting it back worked oops maybe don't hit the wall Lauren Get out of there. That's what you get. Okay. Yay! Distant relatives by now. We don't all share the same demeanor nor see eye to eye. Though all of us, I think, wish you the best. Um, I would say some wish him the best for his own well-being. Some, some of them are not so capable of empathy. I just really don't like Ares or Aphrodite, okay? And yeah. This is really good. Are any of these faded? No. I'm gonna take a call. Divine protection. Yeah. Woo! Bam! Alright. Oh, that worked. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. I hate you. No. Nope. Having some trouble. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh. Oh, I didn't realize there's another one still in there. Okay. Oh, friendship. Let me see. Let me see. Um, maybe friendship and and what about friendship and how about also friendship? Hi. Hello, <laughs> the fact that he calls everyone sir. He's just yeah, such a polite boy. On your person, right, princess? I'd recognize that funky thing from anywhere. It's serving you will want. Oh, yes. Oh, I'm so excited. This is the first time that I think I've been wearing one of these. Um, and the person that I'm talking to sees I'm wearing it. That means that if I wear Artemis's, then she shows up. She'll be like, oh, I see you're wearing my thing that I gave you. And I'll be like, yes. OK. 
Okay, I have to do that. I also love that he calls me Prince Zed. I'm never not going to comment on that. Hey, sir. Certainly it's been most welcome having something from you with me at all times. Though, has it always held this power? And how did you remove it to begin with? These are good questions. Bit of an odd story, that. Involved a well-timed accident with the old boulder there. Though, I'd best not get into it so that you're not accomplice to that little crime. Surely you understand. Okay, that is straight up them recognizing that the reason why Sisyphus is down here is because he is a sneaky little butt. <laughs> he is a clever, sneaky, like, conniving, you can't hold me down little dude. <laughs> He's not very little, but you get the idea, you know? You know? That's charming. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad. They still can't quite hold him. All right, darkness. It's all yours. Thanks. Yay! So much friendship. Good. Yay! Oh, I'm happy. I'm happy about this. Look at that. He believes in me. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. That pillar was in the way. Oh my god, there's so many explosives here. Oh my god. Just like, what even? Jeez. Oh my god. Well, I'm not gonna win any, like, shooting things fast award. But I might be able to kill bad guys and maybe not die. Maybe. Oh, get out of there! A lot of explosions. I wonder if they give me more explosions because I'm using the gun. All right. <laughs> like festive fog. Uh, let's do that. Because I'm probably going to have trouble with bosses with this. Oh, you know what the heck. <sighs> you are so fortunate to have received the boon of Dionysus prior to my own. He, the most noble and important of us all. The god of wine himself. Uh-huh, uh-huh, Aphrodite, uh-huh. Whatever, Aphrodite. Let's do this. Yeah! Yeah! Look at that property damage. That's right, that's the right expression to have on your faces. Oh boy. All right. Again. Nope. <laughs> oh my god, I love him. You know what I like about you? The way you bleed. Mm. This isn't good. That is not the type of flattery I'm used to. You're making me a bit uncomfortable, I'll have you know. That's it. Assert your boundaries, Zagreus. You have the right to say if something makes you uncomfortable. I've never met a god that bleeds like you. Red. Like a worthless mortal. Come on. Let's bleed you dry. That is significant. I don't know exactly what it means. Did, like, Hades, like, take some mortal child and make it, like, be like, I will bestow godhood upon you using, like, Persephone's life-giving powers as the daughter of Demeter? Is he, in fact, some sort of weird demigod thing? I don't know. We'll find out. All right. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was the wrong decision. That's okay.
Oops. Oh, jeez. No, oh, that was the wrong time to do that. Oh, that's right. She has her rage meter. Get out of there. Oh, my God. God. Rage something. Oh, jeez. She's getting angry. Nice trick. What does her getting angry mean? Yeah, there's something really significant about the fact that he has red blood, and I don't know what it is. Oh, jeez. Oh, good! She's perma-raged! Great! I love this! Okay, just, just get away, just get away, just get away, just get away. Oh my god. Oh jeez! Oh my god. Get out of there, Zagreus. Get out of there. No, I don't either. That's the first time that I've taken her out on my own. Because the last time, just Artemis just showed up and just shot her in the face to death. Which was pretty great. But also meant that I didn't know exactly how going against her was going to work. Well, the sister who only says murder is like... It's not personal, you know? Like, something's clearly wrong with her, and she's doing her job. Um, so, the way that this woman, the way that this, uh, one of the Furies, like, how uncomfortable she is, the way she's uncomfortable talking to Zagreus, and the way she makes him uncomfortable, and he's kind of like, please stop. That's how I feel about Meg. She's obviously not nearly as bad as this sister, but I don't, uh... I don't like Meg because that's the way she comes across to me, too. Did Exegriff just shudder? Oh, good. Exegriff has has things to say and feel about that. Oh, good. Thanks, Dad. The Lecto failed just as her sister did. Well, Father. I'm trespassing through your secret hall and going up. I love him. Whatever, Dad. Whatever, Dad. Inspect. Won't bother asking how come all my keepsakes are here. <laughs> Probably fair. Okay, how many boons have I got, actually? Uh, how do I... Okay, hold on, there's a button. This is the button. Okay, this is attack. Attack. Cast. Okay, so I definitely want to change that out. Um... Who have they not given it to? Because, like, so these appear to be people at home. And these are the gods. And these are the friends. Like, these are very clearly... Okay. 
Hydrate was redeemed. You should drink water, too. We should all drink water. You know, these very clearly separate into categories. This is the chthonics. This is, like, everybody who's, like, up here hanging out with me. I mean, back at home hanging out with me, I think. Um, no? No? Okay, but this is the chthonics. Yes. I think so. And, yeah, and chaos counts as the rest of the gods here, because these are all gods. And then here's friends. So that means there's two friends I haven't gotten a thing from, which makes sense. Um, friends. What did he count as? Was he an exclamation point? I, I don't remember what Thanatos was. That's interesting. Okay, I have gotten hypnosis. Because Thanatos, I, I would guess Thanatos is one of these. I don't know who else I haven't given it to. Oh, did I give one to Meg? I did not. I don't know if you even can. Mm, I don't know. Well, we'll see. Wait, which one did I equip? I didn't equip one. What should I equip? Um, I've never used this one. But if I use some out here and I run into that friend, well, sure. Might help. Sure. So what stepmom has. Only I had that money. But I don't, so. Nah. Is there anything I want to sell for monies? No. All right. I guess we're just gonna con we're just gonna continue onwards. This is not gonna be a very <laughs> This is not gonna be a very long run. I'm honestly very surprised though I managed to beat Electo. Electo. All right. Change of scenery at least. That's true, but we don't spend a lot of time down there, actually, usually. Just need to get from here across all that. No big deal. You've got this, kid. <gasps> Friendship juice, yes. Friendship juice. We have to start giving friendship juice to more of the Olympians. I briefly forgot what weapon I had. I was very confused. Get your butt over here! Oh my god, do you mind? Get your butt over here! Do you do mind? Well, too bad. My brain is forgetting what buttons do what. This is part, by the way, part of why I've resisted putting cast. Like, the number of times that my brain has forgotten what buttons do, like, I've had that happen at least twice tonight, and that doesn't usually happen when I play this game. Sweet. Oh, Zagreus, are you using modern day slang? Oh, Zagreus, dear friend. Uh, I should probably get keys. Oh, that's true. Nectar is sweet, so it's a pun, too. But it's also modern, modern slang. What are you? Oh, you're one of those guys. I don't like... Oh my god, you blew yourself and me up. You jerk! Where is the bad guy? Jeez, no. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. So, as you progress in this game, you, uh, you get more... Like, the, the areas have more danger from them. Like, there's more of, like, the, the ground is trying to kill you, the world is trying to kill you in this game. Or not in this game, in Asphodel and Elysium, then in, uh... What are you offering me? Sure! Don't make me laugh. Oh, shut up, Dad. Come and get it. Yeah, that's it. Oh jeez, get out of there! Went the wrong way. Oh jeez, get out of there. Give me very much health back. Look <laughs> at that. I think that might be more than I started with, but that's fine. It's all good. I kind of knew that was going to happen. Uh... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. This song is reminiscent of Good Riddance. so well. Having some trouble here. All right. I'm gonna go with this. All right. I didn't even leave that little island. Um. I don't really think I have much to purchase much of anything, so let's do this. Oh, this is a bad weapon for fighting the witches.
have gone worse. Oh, don't mess with witches then, I guess. I did okay. And this means we'll be stopping on time, at least. Hello. Wow, well, you just barged into the witches' circle out in Asphodel and they just filled you full of all those stinging purple orbs and killed you, huh? You can't just show up expecting to join their club. You have to study witchcraft for years. Apparently that's what I did wrong, Hypnos. I haven't studied witchcraft long enough. Amazing. Don't like those stinging purple orbs. This is perhaps the first line in the game that is too awkwardly written to deliver without it sounding awkward. Anything else that might have been awkwardly written was like, I'm mean, written to that in a way that is not necessarily thinking about how it would sound. Like there's not been a big disconnect, but this line did not work, which is fine. But I'm not judging. You should hear the dialogue that I write when I try to read it. We'll see what happens if I make other people try to read it. Um, yeah, the gun was hard, but I managed, because I took the trippy cast thing, maybe, I managed to, I managed to take down Electo, which is pretty good. I'll get right on that. <laughs> Thanks, Zagreus. <laughs> Shut up, dad. Oh, Achilles isn't here to see that, like, I made it. These doors, these rooms I can't go into. I want to go into those rooms. All right. The much feared Cerberus licks endlessly at something on the floor. See, he's not scary is what I'm getting at here. He's not scary. I don't care how much you talk about how scary and terrifying he is. He's licking the floor, narrator. Goodbye for now. Oh. All right. Mean old dad. Out. The lounge is all tidied up. Your house contractor there is quite efficient once you muster up the necessary funds. You should try it sometime. That's it, sass dad. Are you expecting words of thanks because you paid the contractor to fix a bit of devastation that you caused? <sighs> I think it shall take rather more than that. He's a bad dad, just in case that hasn't been made abundantly clear so far. What if I replaced every furnishing in this blasted place? Would you treat me any better then? It's not your fault, Zagreus. I suppose, boy, that there's only one way to find out. Though I suggest you save yourself the trouble. I could replace everything, let's see. Oh, it's no trouble at all. <laughs> I was Agrius. Lord Hades, long since severed ties with his family and Olympus leads a solitary life. His son is his sole remaining connection to his family and I fear it falters. What's the deal with Zagreus and his red blood like a mortal? dying to know. I'll find it eventually. Since apparently I'm actually going to uh, beat the game eventually from the looks of things. Oh, we can get a welcome mat. At some point I will get a second diamond. Um, see, the thing is with money, I never actually prioritize getting money because the only thing that I'm particularly interested in is when I need to get another Death Defiance back. So I don't know if this is worth spending that on, but what else am I going to spend it on? Making things pretty? I mean, I kind of want to just like have a welcome mat. I like the idea of a welcome mat. I might just, oh, it's the lounge. Hmm. I like that. I'm doing it. Contractor, I have another job. Should make the entryway into the lounge a bit more welcoming. Yes. I welcome you to go about your business, boy. Huh? Shut up, Dad. Nobody likes you. Oh wait, did I get new things? Quilting, bedding. Oh, I can get. Oh. Scattered petals. Oh, why would I do that? I really want to just decorate the house. I could save my money and do something that's useful, but I kind of want to just decorate the house. Don't you just kind of want to decorate the house sometimes? Oh, I need to save my money. 
we will know upon receiving commentary when this is placed. Perhaps we will know. Perhaps we will know who our narrator is. Maybe. Oh, I'm excited about that. That's a lot of money, though. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I could have gotten a kitchenette. Oh, I could have gotten a kitchenette for them. There's so many things that I want. Bat cage. An obedient colony of surveillance bats. No, I don't want surveillance. That's not good. Nobody wants that. Should I get the wall scroll? Because, like, it could make the game more playable, but I'm really excited about this. Sorry, I know we've got, like, story and characters to talk to and stuff, but, like... Okay, well, if I follow my heart, I'm going to get them a kitchen, but I don't have the money for the kitchen, so instead, I'm going to... Was it over here? Ooh. Cool. Not what I'm looking for. Hold on. I want, where is my doggy bed? Where's the doggy bed? There's a, I swear there was a doggy bed. Here we go. Quilted bedding or fancy bedding? Elegant comfort or luxurious comfort? Let's go up. Contractor, work approved. Yes. For Cerberus, only the greatest bed will do. Yes. Don't you disturb the dog, you hear me, boy. Oh. Whatever. He's happy. I'm happy. We're happy. Look at this. Look at how pretty his bed is. What a good dog. What a good dog. There's a good boy. All right. The lighting on it is a little weird, but that's... Oh, that's because I was standing on it. Okay. Oh, man, look at this. The contractors once again. We're proud of you, house contractor. Yes, we are. Hello. No, I wouldn't talk to me if I were you. Oh, I missed... I was going to... Oh. I actually meant to give her some nectar and see what happens. <sighs> this is probably cleaning the rafters. What's for breakfast? Dinner, maybe? <laughs> it's okay, next time. I don't think so. I think she's... I think that I missed my conversation chance with her. Like, I think you only get one chance. Yeah, only one chance per run. 10 gems for a nectar? Oh. Yeah, sure. Give Friendship juice. Special. <laughs> Examine. Okay. Orpheus! Oh, hello, you look a little down. And so I was just wondering, would you perchance fancy a song right now? Would you sing for me? Friendship? Oh, man. I don't know if I know Argonauts. I don't like... Are, are these songs that I have heard... Like, are these song titles I should recognize? Okay. Then I have to listen to the the lament of Orpheus, obviously. How about the lament? You used to play that one a lot. Oh, fancy that one, do you? Alas, 
Well, I've not the heart to sing it anymore. I'm glad you like it, though. Oh. Okay. What is it? All right, well, maybe we'll get him to sing someday. I wonder if I'm wearing Orpheus's gift and I go talk to Eurydice. I wonder if I can carry messages between them. I will eventually get some of these. Oh, and they're going to give me money, which I can use to make my house pretty. Cool. So all of these are just monies. Oh, but see, you do want to do renovations because then you get diamonds. Okay. Yeah, we can work through these. But I won't look too closely at those. Is there anything else here? No. I just don't care about cast. It's too much. It's never bedtime here. Okay, well, we're gonna uh, let's make sure we've saved and see what's up. Did I get to Elysium faster than the game expected me to get to Elysium? Because I keep getting people commenting on like how cool it is that I made it to Asphodel and I have been making it to Asphodel pretty consistently for like several runs and made it to Elysium like three times, I think. Like, I feel like I'm doing things out of order and that's a very strange sensation that I think the, the game kind of expected me to maybe, or maybe it's just that I haven't talked to enough of the like, variety of the gods. I'm probably, so I've been playing favorites with the gods this whole time. I think I'm going to try to do a little less of that. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's still going to take a lot of attempts. I mean, I can't conclusively decisively beat what's her butt electo. Um, and the Hydra is hard in the best of circumstances. The normal Hydra still doesn't, I still don't always win against it. So it'll take a while. I don't even know what I'm going to do when I get up to Elysium. It's a backflood of Asphodel dialogue. Yeah. Is it, that's, that's kind of what made me wonder if I did something wrong though. Um, no, it's okay. I know I can, I know that, I know, I will, I will unlock more lore as I play the game. I don't think that you can play the game and not unlock lore. And if I hit a point where I feel like I'm not unlocking lore playing the game, I will change the way I play the game to try to get more stuff. Um. <laughs> um. Yeah, I, I feel like. I honestly feel like Electo, Electo, is that her name, has given me some of the most interesting things to think about. I think I'm onto something. I suspect that I'm correct about the general idea of what's going on, but that I am incorrect about the specifics in a way that probably makes people laugh. Like... I feel like there is definitely something going on with who and what Zagreus is, what it means to be Persephone's son, what it, like what his relationship is, what his fate is, that sort of thing. Like that that's the essential mystery and the fact that he has the same color blood as a mortal is significant. Um, and that Persephone not writing about him in the letter is significant. Um, I suspect that that actually, those are big, loud things. So I suspect that they do actually mean something, but I don't know like how much, I don't know whether my guess about um, Hades doing some sort of strange against the rules 
like ritual basically or something basically breaking the rules to make himself a son um if that's actually what happens but it makes the most sense i feel i feel pretty confident about that and uh I'll, I'll adjust my, my guesses as I get more information. But so far, like, for all of my weird out there ideas, because I've had some weird out there ideas in the past with games, I feel like this one's actually less weird and out there than usual. You know? Just a little bit. <laughs> oh, man. So, it is now after 10 o'clock, which means that it is time for me to get ready to shut down. As a reminder... This is my last stream until I move. I'm moving next Friday, so you will see me stressing out online as I pack and get everything ready in the meantime. So if you see me stressing out online, like, it's okay, Lauren, just chill. Um, I, I, I coined a really stupid word yesterday, just like the idea of hangry, um, which is a combination of hungry and anger, angry. Because when you're hungry, you get angry. My, uh, my, my invention was, was stressimism. <laughs> because when you are stressed, everything feels like it's going to go wrong. <laughs> like pessimism. So use that one. To credit me with it. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not, I don't usually make words. <sighs> All right, folks. Well... I am going to go ahead and shut down. Um, but thank you all so much for joining. Um, thank you for being here. For all of our new viewers, if you stuck it out to the end, thank you so much and welcome. I hope you enjoy your time here. You're welcome to come back at any point. I won't be streaming next week, but I will be back. I play Hades on Thursdays um, indefinitely until I decide I'm done with it. Um, and when we pick back up, I don't know if I'll be ready for the Monday stream, but we'll probably just pick up with more Suikoden 2 and the Tinto ending um, week after next on Tuesday. So we'll go from there. Take care of yourselves. Um, be safe. Be healthy. Um, and, uh, and I will see you around. Bye. Thank you. Bye.